What's up, YouTube? This is Draw Ya. Uh, back with another video. I just saw this on Instagram, and I thought this was really interesting. Um, as you can see, with the title, it says, How Can I Tell If I'm an Israelite? And I thought this is interesting. I think it's going to it's gonna allow me to talk about some topics that I think are very important when it comes to coming to the knowledge, or as, as a lot of brothers call it, the truth, quote-unquote truth. So it says, how can you can I tell if I'm an Israelite? Are you from North, Central, or South America? So that's the Western Hemisphere. All right. It said, do you consider yourself melanized, a.k.a. a person of color? All right. And it says, congrats, you are Israelite. <laughs> oh, boy. And I, I, I'm laughing just because I'm like, you know, I didn't know if it was that easy or that simple. You know, it's like, it, it makes me think like, do I do I get a certificate or something for being this Israelite that you claim I'm in? Because I'm in the Western hemisphere and I'm quote unquote melanated. And then let's see what the rest says. So carry yourself as such. So I, I feel like this is a problem and I'm not hating on the brother who made this uh, post. It's just, um, it's not as simple as people try to make it in the quote unquote truth. You know, I, I, I know as a so-called black man and so-called black women, um, you know, our people are special because we are the descendants of the people of the book based off the prophecies of the scriptures. Of course, we don't have our genealogy or records, so we don't have um, uh, a way to know where we come from, uh, from a tribal component, but based off the prophecies and the, and the writings in the Bible, we can we can deduce who are the people of the book. So we know that with the so-called black man and woman in North, South, Central America and the Caribbean, that we are the people of the book by the, uh, by the prophecies. But it's not as simple as equating black equals Israelite. Um, you know, all we know is that the Most High made a covenant with a group of people, a nation of people. And we read about that in Deuteronomy chapter four. But when it comes to being an Israelite, quote unquote, that root or that promise has to be predestined inside you. And I'm not qualified to call someone an Israelite and I'm not qualified to call someone not an Israelite because I don't know what each person is meant to find in this life because not every person is meant to find the truth because not everybody can deal with the truth. Not everybody can handle the truth. The most high has to be with you and want you to find the truth, you know? But, you know, for brothers who think that just because they found out they're quote unquote Israelite, that that's going to save you. That's not, that's not going to save you. Read Matthew chapter three, verse nine. And I think a lot of brothers, they have that mentality because they're really stuck in the old covenant, to be honest with you. You know, the old covenant or the first covenant, it was based on circumcision, which is based off genealogy, meaning you're able to trace your lineage through your father's, um, your father's uh, paternal line. And as we know in the biblical history, the Northern Kingdom of Israel or the, um, the Kingdom of Israel, the Northern Kingdom, they forsook the covenant and they were taken in captivity by the Assyrians. So the new covenant, which is based off the promise, is able to bring back the fold who were scattered from the Northern Kingdom and also bring back the Southern Kingdom who were uncircumcised. And also mention it, and when you read the gospels, Christ always calls the most high his father. You know, and that, you know, it's symbolic as well, because like I said, the circumcision is based off your genealogy. Now, if you've been cut off from your father, you're cut off from those prophecies, you cut off from those covenants, you cut off from everything. So Christ was also reinforcing that even if you've been cut off from your physical father, you still have your heavenly father to connect you to that promise. You know, so that's just what I was talking about in regards to that topic about Israelite, um, it's not just a simple, you know, you're black, so you're Israelite, you know, people, they try to make it that simple, man. And it's really not. And um, I, it, like I said, it's like a, 
it's a lot of pro blacks who try to mask around their pro blackness with the Bible. You know, we have to make sure that we we stick to accuracy and truth. It's not about skin color. It's not about being pro black. It's not about being pro us. It's about being pro truth. You know, because um, they they do that and they try to you know mix mash mix mash scripture and stuff like that, and it just causes confusion. And uh, like I said, Israel scattered across the globe. So when the um, the people of the book, um, when the prophecies and the the judgment comes to this world. That's when the people are going to be made manifest or the elect of Israel is going to be made manifest. So that's what we just got to stay focused on.